Hello divas, happy Friday. I'm Megan Enan, and this is my weekly web series where we talk about all sorts of things, arts entrepreneurship, we talk about audience development, we talk about creative placemaking, we talk about new music for the voice, all sorts of cool stuff. So today we're talking about one of my favorite topics, which is what I lovingly call the post-show schmooze. <laughs> say it with me, right? The post show schmooze is about that moment after the concert where you've performed and you're either expected to mingle from like the presenters or you invited all of these people and you need to like go talk to them. So I am this, this is like everything that I tell you that has to do with like networking that has to do with community building. I understand there is a large spectrum from introvert to extrovert and everything in between, all of that good ambivertness. And I don't expect you to be raging extroverts to do the post-show schmooze. I do expect you to be polite and go talk to people. <laughs> so, so here are a couple tips when it comes to this, because sometimes you have to, that you are invited to be the featured guest at a post-show cocktail party for donors or something like that. And it's great when you can allow yourself to continue being a warm and inviting presence, someone that the donors feel like you're making their night very special, like they're you're contributing to their life experience. So, and hopefully they're contributing to yours. <laughs> so my keys to take away here are that you don't, I understand what this feels like when, when it feels like you're expected to talk about yourself or you're like, oh yes, go on. Tell me more about me. <laughs> right? like, that's, that's not the direction that I would like for you to go when it comes to these types of things. So what I want you to think about is thank them for coming, right? Always start there. That's, you can do this in any situation, right? If you are performing, if you are presenting, if you are, you know, if you are working as an arts administrator for the organization, you can always start with, thank you for being here, <laughs> right? So if someone says, if, say if you're the performer and, or you're the composer or something like that, and someone comes up and they said, oh my gosh, I loved your performance. And, or they said, oh my gosh, I loved that piece, right? But then they just stop there, right? You say, wow, that's really meaningful to me. Thank you so much for being here. It's really special to be able to share this with you. That's it. And you can leave it there and then you can notice that you have to go wander across the other side of the room and do something over there for a minute. And that's okay. Nobody's expecting you to create, you know, three hours of conversation. They want to be able to share with you their experience and it's polite for you to respond to them. <laughs> so, so best, best case scenario is if they're keeping it short by just saying the one sentence to you where they say, wow, thank you so much for performing or wow, I really loved your piece or whatever it is. Then you say, thank you. I really appreciate that. Please for the love of all things, holy do not reject the compliment. I don't care where you are in your ability to receive praise at this point. That is an inside job. That's what you need to work on. It's not what you need to work on with them right in front of them. <laughs> so, so please, if someone gives you a compliment, you say, wow, thank you. You can leave it at that, right? You don't have to go farther than that. I don't care how you feel like you played. I don't care how you feel like it went. Does not matter they are trying to tell you that they had a meaningful experience with the work that you did. And you said, wow, thank you so much. It means a lot to me that you were here tonight. That's great, right? Just start with that. If they give you the short version, then you can do the short version and then say, you know what? Oh, thank you. And then turn to the next person and thank them for being there, right? If they do the longer version where they say, wow, thank you so much for your performance. The piece that you performed really reminded me of my uncle who, who uh, ran a company or passed away or uh, did this thing that now I'm going to tell you about for a while. You're like, wow, that's so interesting. And then ask a follow-up question. Like, I don't, 
it's really great to just sit there and like hear people tell you what's what they're connecting with in your performance or in your composition because then you go huh i didn't know that it was going to have that effect right so ask a follow-up question wow that's really interesting about your uncle did did he also like music and they can be like no he hated music but i love music it doesn't matter so the whole point is ask a follow-up question if they do the long story version you can ask a follow-up question learn a little bit more about that say wow were you really close with your you know your grandmother who who really loved the violin right so doesn't matter ask the follow-up question and this can happen in a lot of cases if you are generally milling about and somebody has not recognized you and started the conversation with you and you are just standing there as the performer because you're expected to be at this thing, but uh, you maybe don't know, this is fine. Do not, <laughs> do not feel like you need to draw attention to yourself and say like, I just performed this thing. Start with the follow-up question here. Start with the innocuous question and, and just lean to somebody and say, oh, wow, are the are, I don't know, are the canapes great? I don't, like, ask something, is there food? You can say, like, oh, is, are, are these M&Ms delicious? I love a good M&M. Like, I, do you see where this is going? Is that people always need an icebreaker, and it's okay for you to start. It's okay for you to be the person who does it and says, hey, oh my gosh, wasn't this a fun night? Like, you know, always a good leading question into a positive experience, right? Wow, wasn't this a fun night? I just really love how the brass played this one section. It was really lovely, right? Go for it. Don't, you know, whatever it is, right? If it's just you, if it's just you solo performing, maybe don't start with the self-aggrandizing version of it. But, uh, but at the same time, you could say, wow, isn't this a lovely venue? I feel so... I feel so grateful that I got to perform here. Just taking it one step away, it's a shared experience that you 